Everyone loves to talk about programming stereotypes, the basement dweller, the hoodie wearing hacker, the introvert who can't talk to humans. Most of these are exaggerated or made up, but some of them are actually accurate. Not all programmers fit these, but enough do that the stereotypes exist for a reason. First, programmers are terrible at estimating time. You ask a developer how long something will take and that estimate is always wrong. This should take two hours means two days. I'll finish by Friday means next Wednesday. It's not because we're lazy, it's because we're optimists. We estimate based on the happy path and forget about edge cases and dependencies. So we say two hours, then spend 30 minutes on setup, an hour debugging, and three hours figuring out why it works locally but not in production. Suddenly it's been a full day. Second, programmers spend an absurd amount of time Googling. People think programming is about memorizing syntax. It's not, it's about knowing what to search for. I've been coding for years, and I still Google basic stuff. How do I reverse a string? What's the syntax for a ternary operator? How do I center a div? There's too much to remember. Instead of memorizing everything, you learn how to find the answer fast. The best programmers aren't the ones who know everything. They're the ones who know how to search effectively. Third, programmers argue about pointless things. Tabs versus spaces, Vim versus Emacs, Mac versus Linux. These debates are endless and completely pointless. Your code works the same either way, but programmers will spend hours arguing. Why? because we're opinionated. We spend so much time with our tools that we develop strong preferences. And once we're comfortable, we convince ourselves it's objectively better. We know it doesn't matter, but we argue anyway, because it's fun. Fourth, a lot of programmers are introverted. Not all, but enough that the stereotype holds. And it's not because we hate people. It's because programming requires deep focus. You're holding an entire system in your head. Variables, functions, logic flows, edge cases. Every interruption collapses that mental model. You have to rebuild it from scratch. So we wear headphones. We avoid meetings. We prefer async communication. Not because we're antisocial, but because interruptions are expensive. The best work happens in long, uninterrupted blocks. You can't solve complex problems in 15-minute chunks. Introverted programmers aren't avoiding people out of fear. They're protecting their flow state. And fifth, programmers hate writing documentation. Ask any developer what they hate most, and documentation is always top three. It's not because we're lazy. It's because documentation feels like wasted effort. You just spent hours solving a problem. The code works. And now you have to explain it. It feels redundant. The code already explains itself, or at least that's what we tell ourselves. But code doesn't explain itself. Not to future you. Not to your teammates. Documentation is important. We know it. We just hate doing it. Because writing documentation requires switching contexts. You go from problem solving mode to writing mode, and that switch is painful, so we avoid it. And then six months later, we're cursing our past selves. Here's the thing, these stereotypes aren't universal. Not every programmer is introverted. Not every programmer argues about Vim, but enough of us do that the stereotypes stick, and that's okay. These aren't flaws, they're quirks of the job. So if you're a programmer and you relate to these, you're not broken, you're normal. And if you work with programmers, now you know. We're not weird, we're just optimized, for a specific kind of work. You know what holds developers back? Not lack of talent. It's thinking you're bad at problem solving. Brilliant changes that. It transforms how you think about logic, math, and systems, the foundations of coding. And suddenly, concepts click. Here's what I love about Brilliant. It doesn't lecture you. You solve problems. Real interactive problems that build intuition. Algorithmic thinking course made me a better debugger because I mastered designing algorithms, the key to solving problems with computers. What makes Brilliant different is it's personalized. It meets you where you are and adapts as you grow. You're already capable. Brilliant just unlocks what's inside you. To start learning free, go to brilliant.org slash shade of code or click the link below. You'll get 20% off an annual premium subscription with unlimited daily access to everything on Brilliant. Thanks for watching and don't forget you're not alone.